Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please ensure to like, share, and subscribe. And also click the bell notification in the top right hand corner to be made aware anytime I upload tutorials or videos to YouTube. All right, let's craft together. Hey guys, this video tutorial is going to talk about how to now um, take your images from ChatGPT that are actually um, changed the file extension that they are actually saved to from a PNG. And now what ChatGPT has done is anytime you go in and you download an image, I'm going to show you here. The image is going to be saved in your downloads. It's going to be saved um, as a, um, the extension on that instead of being a PNG is going to be a, WEBP file, okay? WEBP file, all right? So what you wanna do, guys, is when you get those images that come in from ChatGPT, very simple, you can go to convert. I'm gonna show you here. Let me bring up my Google. All right, so you can simply go here to convert convert.town forward slash image hyphen DPI. If you go to that, you can actually um, change the DPI of an image, but you can also do convert, just convert town by itself, um, convert.town, and you can upload a file and you can actually change it to a JPG PNG etc. Okay, so all you have to do after you download that WEBP file from ChatGPT, you're going to click on upload file, you're going to grab that image and select open. And then here, it's going to say create a flat, you know, that's the, the prompt we use, but now you're going to say you want to save it to a JPG PNG, resize it or other, we're going to select PNG. And just that quick, it has now changed that from a WEBP to a PNG file. So now when I go to my downloads, I have it here and I can open it up. And when I click on file info, you can see now that this is a PNG file. Convert.town is completely free. Um, so you don't have to pay for anything. Um, with it, and I would highly recommend that you go ahead and use convert.town to change your um, extension from the WEBP file to, you know, whether you want to use it as a PNG or JPG, I highly recommend PNG, all right? So it's just that simple, guys. That's all you have to do. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about what I've shown you in this video tutorial, just chime in in the comments. Again, I'm going to walk through that process really quickly. So I'm going to download this image that I had ChatGPT to create for me. It has downloaded it. And when I now go to open that file, it is asking me to select an app to open this WEBP file, all right? So I'm not gonna select anything. I'm just gonna go over to convert.town. I'm gonna upload that same image and I'm going to have convert.town to change it to a PNG. And now I can go and open the file and you can see it has been um, under file info, it has been changed to a PNG. So it's just an extra step that we're having to take with this chat GPT guys. I mean, we pay $20 a month. Um, I would 
prefer to have my images to still be saved as a PNG or downloaded as a PNG instead of a, instead of a WEBP. But hey, that's that's chat GPT's thing now. So simple fix, guys. And again, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, chime in, in the comments if anything wasn't clear. All right. And hey, guys, if you're currently in my Facebook group, I want to thank you guys so much for following me via Facebook. If you would like to join my Facebook group, I'm going to show you here on my YouTube channel. My uh, Facebook group is always linked in the description of my video tutorials. So anytime you see one of my videos, you will see that I have a link here that um, actually says my link tree. And if you click on that link, it's going to take you to where you can get my Facebook group, where it says here, class information in my Facebook group is in my link tree. Just go to my link tree. And when you go to my link tree, it's going to um, actually take you right into where you can join my Facebook group. So it's not a link right now because of the way I'm in it, but I'm going to go here and open up a web browser and paste that link tree in there. And then when you go here to log into Facebook, which is my Facebook group. Now, if you're not a member, it's going to um, take you through the, through the steps to join my group. But you can see where it takes you right into my Facebook group, Ken Doris's Cricket and Creative Crafters. All right. And hey, guys, if you're following me via YouTube, I want to thank you guys so much for the love and support that you show via my YouTube. I have hit a new goal of mine, which is to reach 15,000 subscribers or to have 15,000 subscribers. So I have now hit that number. My next major goal is 20,000. All right. So you can see I have 15,000. Um, I have 15,000 subscribers here. So if this is your first time seeing me, you like my method of teaching, guys. I have, as you can see here, over 550 videos out here on all types of crafting projects. Um, so please, please, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right. Hey, guys, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. You guys know my motto is each one reach one so that each one can teach one. Hey, convert.town. It's free. Have an amazing day. Bye.